Hey, today we're going to be learning how to find the distance between two parallel lines in three-dimensional space. This is a question I gave to my students this week and even my brightest students really, really struggled with this. So, I want you to start by thinking what two parallel lines will look like in three-dimensional space. So we can see them here, we spin it round. Okay. We should know that the shortest distance always lies along the perpendicular. So what we want to do is we want to work out what the perpendicular line is. The tricky thing is because these two lines are parallel, they're going to have the same direction vector. So normally if we had two different lines, we could find a line that would be perpendicular to both of them by using the cross product. So what our strategy is going to be is to create a line that crosses over the void, that crosses over the space between the two three-dimensional lines, such that that specific line forms a 90-degree angle there and there. So that's what we're looking for. We're going to try and find a vector that would join these two points together. Okay? Just like that. And then once we know what the vector is, we'll be able to find the length of that vector, like this. Okay, so this is the visual, and now we're going to move on to solving the question and the nitty-gritty. So here's the question. We've got two lines. I'm now going to draw a 2D representation of what we already saw before. We've got two lines in three-dimensional space. We know that 2, 4, minus 1 is a point on this one, and that minus 3, minus 2, minus 3 is a point on this line here. We don't know, for example, it might look like this, it might look like that, it could look like this. We don't know where they are in relation to each other. But the first thing I'm going to do is find the direction vector that joins A to B. This diagram is a little bit of a simplification, but it just helps us to get started. So the vector that joins A to B is going to be the vector B minus a, the vector b is minus 1, 4, 0, and we're going to subtract a, which is 2, 4, minus 1, which gives us the vector minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3, 4 minus 4 is 0, 0 minus minus 1 is going to be plus 1. Let's check if that works. If I add th uh, minus 3, if I subtract 3 here, I'll get that one. If I move 0 directions here, and then if I move plus 1 here. So that's really cool because now we can write the equation of this line. So the equation of the line here, joining A to B, is going to be, I'm going to use A as my point on the line, 2, 4, minus 1 plus lambda times by minus 3, 0, 1. We can actually say that any point on that line is in the form 2 minus 3 lambda, 4, and minus 1 plus lambda. Okay. Now, this is pretty useful, so we're going to call this, this is just a general point on our line. Okay, we can call it general point. What we're going to do is we'll find a vector that will join a general point on this line, okay, to that specific point there. Now, for different values of lambda, okay, this general point could be in different places, right? But we're going to get to that later on. Okay, so we're going to find a vector that will take us from a general point here, okay, I've just drawn in here, to a specific point here. But again, g could be here, g could be here, g could be here. It all depends on the specific value of lambda. Every point on this line will have its own specific lambda. Okay, So the point that will take me to the general point to the specific point c is going to be c minus g. Okay, c is minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 subtracted with g, which is 2 minus 3 lambda, 4, minus 1 plus lambda. Okay, 
So let's tie that up a bit. We're going to have minus 3, minus 2, minus 3 lambda. Minus 2, minus 4 here. And minus 3, minus, minus 1, plus lambda. So this vector here that crosses the void, or the space between them, is going to be in terms of lambda. So 3 minus 2, minus 3 minus 2, minus 5, plus 3 lambda. Uh, minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 and minus 3 minus minus 1 would be minus 2 minus lambda, okay? We're going to find a specific lambda that will tell us which point here would be perpendicular to this line if we joined it up to C and therefore we'll know the vector that will take us from here to here and all we need to do then is look at how long it is. So let's find that lambda. So I'm going to do GC dotted with the direction vector, which is minus 3, 0, 1. And I'm going to set that equal to 0 and solve for lambda. So G to C is this vector here. Okay. So that's going to be minus 3 times minus 5 plus 3 lambda plus minus 6 times 0 plus 1 times minus 2 minus lambda equals to 0. Let's multiply that out. And that's going to be 15 minus 9 lambda minus 2 minus lambda equals to 0. 15 minus 2 is 13 and that's going to be minus 10 lambda equal to 0. So we know the specific value of lambda we're looking for is going to be 13 divided by 10 or lambda should be 1.3. Well that's pretty cool guys because all we know now, what we know now is the vector that goes across such that it's perpendicular is this vector here, okay, but with lambda equal to 1.3. So all we need to do now is substitute in lambda equals to 1.3 and we're going to get minus 5 plus 3 times 1.3. We're going to get minus 6 and minus 2 minus 1.3. Okay, so that's the vector that will take us across here. I'm going to redraw it now because we've picked up the specific point, okay, We've picked the specific value of lambda such that it's perpendicular. Now all we have to do to measure the distance between the perpendicular lines is um, look at how long that vector is. So you're going to use your distance formula of the vector and that's going to be minus 2.9 squared plus minus 6 squared plus minus 3.3 squared. And that distance is approximately 7.44. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it made a super tricky math nice and simple. So the trick is to form a general point on one line and join that up to a specific point on the second line and dot that vector that you've made with the direction vector. Once you've got your value for lambda, you just find the length of that vector. I hope this is valuable to you. I hope this really helps you study today. If so, smash the like button and subscribe for more content.